Hi, this is the third and final part of a side scroll tutorial and this is where we left off last time. Uh, we have a, a guard boards, we have a platform and we have a searchable uh, item. These are all uh, of course placeholder art. So this is what uh, the game is gonna look like uh, when it's finished. So if you don't recognize this level and uh, perhaps the sound at the beginning, uh, I'll give you a clue what I was trying to achieve here. Uh, this was uh, one of my favorites a uh, long time ago. And uh, as you can see, I was trying to achieve uh, to remake this level. We have uh, searchable items here, we have uh, bots, and so on. So, uh, rather than uh, coding along as uh, we go in a video, uh, there's a lot of changes and I'm going to show you uh, one by one what the changes are and uh, I'm going to provide the link uh, for a whole project so you can uh, just uh, download it and uh, uh, play with it, check uh, uh, yourself what is done. Uh, so let's I start with the guard boat. There was not much uh, changes there basically I uh, uh, applied uh, that uh, asset from a platformer uh, game that uh, Epic uh, has provided and uh, I added the uh, overlap capsule which is uh, just another capsule because the uh, first one we are using to detect hits and this one we're gonna use to detect overlaps because uh, we, we need that on overlap and which uh, hit event doesn't provide and uh, searchable item uh, that's uh, these guys here uh, as you can see the art is changed, it's from uh, Infiltrator de Demo, uh, also provided by Epic and uh, pretty much everything you can see here is either Infiltrator Demo, this one is from Platformer Game and uh, this one is uh, just from Owen from uh, Blueprint Examples, so uh, you probably know him by now. Uh, so this asset, I uh, searchable items, I provided uh, 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 kind of sparks to uh, denotate at the end that uh, search is finished and we, we know which, as which items are searched already. Uh, if you play the game. So the thing explodes and it still sparks from time to time. So this is what we did here. Uh, so we have this timeline that's basically our uh, search percentage and we connected this from finish once it goes to zero basically to spa spawn uh, act random sparks uh, this is also from uh, blueprint examples i believe uh, and what i do here is uh, i get uh, location for our searchable item i uh, break the vector i add some height to it to so the sparks don't spawn inside the item and uh, I have a sparks boolean which uh, tells us do we show those sparks or not. 
so uh, replay sound at location uh, sound is uh, I think uh, from uh, Infinity Blades uh, we set this to true uh, uh, so later on it doesn't play that sound anymore once we uh, s step or pass by the asset so it plays it only once uh, side scroll character uh, I had to add uh, health and uh, some types of damage and uh, a hard message so uh, basically if, if we go back to the game again you'll notice that uh, these uh, guards First of all, if you just run into them, they're gonna take 10 out of your damage right away. But then, if you hang around, it's gonna just keep taking more and more of your health. So, uh, that's uh, basically done with... Uh, uh, Also, we have uh, uh, damage due, due to falling. Uh, let me demonstrate that again. Uh, so, let's say these are, if you fall all the way down to those holes, actually, it's only one hole right now, uh, it's just gonna kill you. So, that's this event hit and we are checking if we uh, basically hit the floor and if we did hit the floor we're gonna set health to zero and uh, at this point the game is gonna be over but uh, rather than rewrite rewriting the code I just called this event check if game is over we compare if health is uh, zero we put the hard message game over and uh, we send the player uh, uh, back to starting location and uh, we restart the level which is basically open level again and uh, that that was for hitting the floor uh, this uh, for uh, uh, interacting with uh, guard bots so we check if we overlap guard bots and uh, if we are first we have a kind of a collision damage which is uh, 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 type of a damage that uh, we initially apply so every time we hit the guard we, uh, we apply 10 of 10 damage out of 100 and then, then we enter the timeline this timeline just basically goes from 0 to 100 and uh, this just uh, uh, just takes uh, your health uh, away as long as the player is uh, uh, overlapping with the guard so you need to move from the guard fast otherwise it's going to take the health so basically let's say if you spend like a couple seconds this is going to be some value at 50 so first we take out of 100 we take that value of 50 then we take away that collision damage that we uh, applied uh, already and uh, uh, then we take everything out of health and then we check if the game over is if the game is over again we check if health is a zero and uh, so on uh, my HUD has uh, uh, basically uh, two additions it has a draw text uh, health 
and uh, draw text message hard message and uh, health and uh, both in uh, our uh, side scroll character here health uh, is the one I just explained how we calculate and uh, hard message is uh, basically just uh, uh, tells you at the beginning player one get ready it tells you when the game is over and so on uh, I don't know if there is anything else that uh, I should really cover in that uh, like I said, I'm gonna provide the link to the whole project and uh, uh, you can test the game whatever you play with it yourself and uh, uh, if you have any questions you can ask either at YouTube or uh, Reddit. That's it for this video and thank you for watching.